it's Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy. And tonight we're going to learn how to read a basic set of micrometers pictured here, odd to one, zero to one inch. And I just want to show you that there are a lot of different variations of micrometers. There's a huge set, probably a 36 inch set. Uh, there's blade mics for measuring slots on parts. Uh, there are even uh, thread mics for measuring the root depth on some threads. So micrometers come in a lot of different uh, varieties. This is a set of depth mics for measuring the depth of pockets and slots. But if you can read this simple set of 0 to 1 inch, odd to 1s as we call them, you can read any set of micrometers. So I'm going to take you through it tonight, and by the end of this video, you'll get it, you'll understand it, and you'll be able to read a set of mics. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with how to read micrometers. You know, it kind of dawned on me tonight before I even recorded this, I think a lot of new people in the trade are probably using digital ones, but, eh, you know, that's kind of cheating. So, <laughs> but let's learn how to read these. Now, when you first look at a set of micrometers, they're pretty intimidating, aren't they? I mean, we've got a scale here with all these numbers. We've got a thimble turning with all these numbers. But I'm going to make it crystal clear for you tonight. So let's just start off with dividing an inch. And that's what this is. And the good news is, is that any set of micrometers you use, I don't care if they're 99 to 100 inch micrometers, they only measure one inch. The small end when they're shut would be 99 inches, and when they're all the way open to an inch, another inch, they would be 100 inches. So the micrometers, at least the ones I've always used, only read a total of an inch. The distance in between the anvils here, uh, and as I showed you in those early pictures, to determine if they're uh, zero to one inch micrometers, not the ones like these are, two to threes, five to sixes, they, they just keep increasing the distance in between the span here, but the thimble, or the scale, always reads an inch. So what we're going to do is divide an inch by 10. 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on, until we get to zero. So let's do something really simple here. I've got a one inch uh, gauge block here. If we put this one inch gauge block in between here, look at that. Okay, so that is one inch. These are ought to ones. That's a one inch gauge block. And we've we're at zero here and zero here. And I'm just going to lead by example here. Hopefully you can see as we do this. Now let's turn the spindle in and use up all this valuable YouTube video time here. I'll edit that out, I think. Here's a half inch gauge block, 0.500. See the five? Right there. And if we screw this all the way in, so. 500. It's a half inch. So that should kind of make sense. Let's talk about this a minute. So if we've divided every uh, or an inch by 10 spots, we're calling them hundredths, 10 graduations, all the way out to an inch, the next thing we just need to learn is that each 100 is divided by four places. So how many hundredths go into a uh, how many? Uh, uh, thousands go into one hundredths of an inch. Pretty simple. 25, 50, 75, 1. 25, 50, 75, 2. 25, 50, 75, 3. And so on. Now that makes it much easier when you realize that every time your thimble reads zero, it's, it, it's at a 25 thousandths increment. So that's one inch. And if we go down 25 thousandths to the next zero, that's 975. And let's just pick a number that's a little easier to read here. we go down to 500. As soon as we see the 5 line up with the 0, it's 500. 5 of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 525. The next line up would be 50. And as soon as this hits 0 again, that's 550. It's really not that hard. So let's read a, an oddball size block here. Well, maybe not so odd ball. Let's just check. Uh, I've got a 250 thousandths gauge block here. And of course, uh, we'll talk about gauge blocks later, but these are pretty much perfectly 250 thousandths or whatever they're supposed to be. This is the industry standard. 250. That would be 251, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The next lineup would be 275. And if we check an oddball sized gauge block, I don't even know what this one is. 125. How did I get 125? Well, screw it down to 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 
125. 125, 126. So that's all it does. Each, all you have to remember is that each, is, each time this thing hits zero, it's 25,000. So you read the big number first, that's 100. And then the next line, is, which is 20, zero, which is 24, you can see there's 24, 25. 150, 155, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's all it is. So all this thimble does is give you the readings in between the 25 marks. Again, just add on. That's 150 there. That's 152. That's 155. And it'll keep going, and the next zero you hit will be a 25 thousandths marker, which is 175. As soon as you see this 2 start to appear, and... 196, 7, 8, 9, 200,000. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, if I went too fast, just email me uh, and I will run through this again. But that is your basic thimble and uh, how to read a set of odd to one micrometers. But if you can read these, you can read any micrometers. And uh, I'll talk to you maybe on another lesson on getting the proper feel. These aren't too hard. This is a, a what they call a friction thimble. And when I hit the number or when I hit the spot uh, when I'm measuring something I can't squeeze them. Thimble spins. It's got a friction fit that it won't let me just manhandle these things like a C-clamp, okay? And some micrometers have a little thing on the end called a ratchet clip and all that would do is um, click after I've hit uh, the right measurement spot. It won't let you squeeze them too hard. So getting a feel. Getting a feel on out to ones isn't too hard and uh, talk to me later when you're using a set of 11 to 12s and you're trying to and, um, you know, keep uh, one or two thousands tolerance. A little bit different there. So, this is the tool and die guy. I hope this helps read uh, a set of micrometers. Again, send me your questions or comments. Love to hear them.